Hello everyone, welcome to my outside kitchen. I have not seen you and I haven't spoken to you for a few weeks. I think it's about five weeks, six weeks, something like that. And I have not been cooking anything for you guys. I'm sorry, I hope you forgive me. I have got different hobbies as well. Besides cooking is antique cars and motorcycles. So I've got a 1976 Honda CB750K, Honda 4. And that was in about thousands of pieces. I had to put everything together and build it and bring it up. That is why I was busy. And those Honda 4s are, you remember back in Iran, in few movies, Bears Vosuri and Gugush, they had one of those, if you remember, in the movie Ham Safar. They had, uh, I mean, uh, Bears Vosuri had one of those and he rode that from Tehran to Chalus and came back and it's similar to those ones. I find this bike about a year ago in uh, Florida and it has only 1,514 miles at the moment on the clock. Anyway, I was busy with that and I will show you the picture in a few minutes so you can see what that is. Anyway, today we're gonna make some uh, dish from uh, Azwin, basically north of Tehran, north of, northwest of Tehran. They call that Qaymen Asar. And that is a special belong to that region. As you know, in Iran, we have got a lot of different uh, provinces and regions and everything, and everybody has their own dish. They have got their own food. And every, all, every single food is absolutely marvelous. This one, Ayman Asar also is marvelous, marvelous. And if you should, if you be able to make your own spices for that, that is gonna be even better. Anyway, we're gonna start from the spices we have. As you see, there are a ton of different spices. We need some rose or red rose, seven, eight green cardamoms. I'm gonna use one black cardamom few cloves, like two or three cloves gonna be good. One very small nutmeg, about half a teaspoon of black cumin, very small amount of black peppercorn. We're gonna ground all of these. I'm gonna remove all the peels and everything. I put about one teaspoon of cinnamon powder and about one teaspoon of ginger powder. It is excellent. The smell is, you, it is gorgeous. It is out of this world. We need some diced onions. Now we're gonna saute our lamb and also the onion. We're gonna saute the onion until they look translucent and they're tender. And after that, we're gonna add our lamb. About one teaspoon of turmeric. The onion looks good and now is the time to add the lamb. Pound and half diced lamb. That is leg of lamb basically. One tablespoon of tomato paste. Now I'm going to add two teaspoons of Cayman Asar spices, the one we already mixed. Let's see. Oh my God, the aroma is excellent. I mean, it is wow, just wow. 
and also I'm going to add about two cups of water and this is boiling water we're going to bring it to boil and we're going to smear and cook this meat for about an hour until the meat is nice and tender that is the time when we see the meat is nice and tender we add the rest of the thing like salt and saffron we have to soak our slivered pistachio and the almonds it's like half a cup almonds, half a cup a slivered pistachio. I soak them for about 20 minutes. I pour some hot water on them. Main while we are doing our kheme, we are uh, doing our stew, I'm gonna do the rice. And this rice is already half cooked. Some water and butter. And I just put the lid on for the time being. Let's check our stew, see how that is. I'm going to add a little bit of almond, some pistachio, and some barberries or zresh. And very small amount of orange peels. I'm gonna do about one teaspoon of sea salt. Looks perfect, as you see, nice and thick. I put a small amount of butter. We're gonna start sauteing the pistachio, almonds, and also now this is the orange peels. We add some saffron, some rose water. Also, I'm going to add some saffron into our aime and some zresh or barberries into our pistachios. It's a good idea to put some saffron into your rice as well. The aroma is excellent. It is perfect. Then our food is ready. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dish it up and going to come back in a few minutes, show you how the food is and everything else. Let's dish it up. Very small amount of payme right on the middle. Some of this pistachio. Again, rice some of these payme, and some of these agil mixture of pistachio, almond, yeah, orange peel, and zeresh or barberries. This is our name in SR. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. As I said, Hayman Asar is not really stew. It is a kind of rice with some Hayman and that is especially, especially belong to Ghazvin, northwest of Tehran. And it's one of the very famous dishes. In Iran, there are many different cultures and all of them, they have got different kinds of food and every single one of them is perfect. It's lovely, it's tasty because they're using different kinds of spices and also love behind them. Over six, 7,000 years of love behind our cooking. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Also give us a thumbs up right at the bottom of this video. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. Anyway, let me see how this food is. looks beautiful tasty the aroma of the orange peel the tanginess of barberries and the crunchiness 
of the pistachio and almonds and saffron, basically everything. It is really nice. And the meat, I'm sure it is good. Mm. It melts in your mouth. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I promise from now onwards, I'm gonna have more videos out for you. Thank you for watching. See you till next.